talk to you guys, I would show you the fish tanks after I had that video about the fish tank stand. So yeah, here they are in all their glory, and that's not all of them. That stand I'm working on has to go right here. Um, and then that should be all of them. She's got a few over here, but those will get transferred onto that rack. Um, but hopefully, hopefully once this is all said and done, this will be all of them. But I actually wanted to show them off to you guys a little bit just to show you the actual quality of the tank. Some of the weird stuff that she has. She doesn't have goldfish, okay? These are um, some sort of puffer fish that actually, when she got them from the store, they said they were unidentified. They're not even totally sure what they are. So she might be the only person in the U.S. with these things. Um, there's a... Uh, I don't remember the archers, but the scats in here, these are African scats. She looked for those for years, uh, finally got them. Those are hard to come by. And I mean, the story really just kind of goes on and on and on with, with a lot of these fish that she has. She has one in here somewhere. Shoot, where she showed it to me. Um, it's a beta. Hang on. Darn it. Oh, maybe here. I think it's that guy. I think, although he doesn't look to be holding now. He was holding a clutch of, of babies yesterday. Um, well, maybe he still is. And as far as we know, she might have the only one in the United States. <laughs> you know, um, so she has a lot of these really, really rare fish that, you know, I'll be honest with you, it's not my thing. You guys know what my things are, obviously. Big toys, uh, beekeeping, welding. Um, but this is her thing, and I, I have to respect it because she knows a lot. These aren't just like plain old fish, people. These are serious fish. Um, and these these tanks, what you're looking at, everything in these tanks is real. You know, real driftwood. The plants are all live plants. These are all freshwater tanks. Um, so this is this is the sort of stuff that you guys are into. I encourage you, go over to her channel, KDV9TB. She doesn't do a lot over there. She doesn't have a lot of new content, but she does have a lot of stuff on more detail about some of these fish and some of the fish that she's had in the past. So if you're into fish keeping and you want to know more, I encourage you to go over there, check it out, um, see what she's got. Um, I'm trying to get her a little bit inspired to, to do a little bit more with her YouTube. Um, but she's super busy, obviously, at home with the kids. Doesn't have a whole lot of time to focus on it. But, you know, I try to tell her, you know, she has all this amazing stuff and this amazing knowledge. She needs to share it with the world and she tries to keep it quiet for some reason. So anyway, yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff. Everything in here is legal. There's no illegal fish, although rare. Some of the stuff that she has is on like the endangered species list, um, the cares list, which is like critically endangered something something. Uh, this is something else that she's into is these live food cultures. So these are Daphnia, which is actually a, a wild little critter that actually lives in the water out in the wild. So she actually is cultivating these and then using them to feed her fish. That's part of why her fish are so healthy is because she focuses on live food cultures uh, and the best possible quality diet. She's not just feeding them some old plain old flakes. So yeah, like I said, if this is what you're into, you guys should certainly go check out her channel. Um, you know, we argue a lot about the expense. She doesn't make money doing this stuff, at least right not, not right now. Um, but I have to respect it because she's, she's good at it. She's very good at it. Uh, I'll show you a little bit part of why we did this, why there's this wall. You think, oh my god, it's like a fish store, which it kind of is. Um, we actually planned this into the construction of our house though, so this is me doing my nerdy bit now. If you look here, she has one central air pump and these manifold lines coming off. So she has manifold for all of her air. Um, she will have manifold for her water supply, although we haven't got that hooked up yet. But every single tank, if you look, and this is not uncommon necessarily, but it is, it's not as common for um, hobbies per se, but every tank has an overflow on it, right? So there in the back, you see that nipple sticking up. That's an overflow in every tank. Here's the black hoses coming down to the back. Those are coming out from the upper tanks. Every single tank drains down into this inch and a half black PVC line. So those three nipples is where the three tanks that go here will tie in. And it all comes over here and it all runs out through this accessory sink drain. Now I had a video that I released where I was hooking that sink drain into the gutter. So now you guys maybe understand a little better what that was about. Um, this is just very very low nutrient content fish water but what will happen ultimately is every single tank will have a drip emitter running into it something like half a gallon an hour or something like that 
And so they will constantly have fresh water coming in and constantly have water spilling out through that overflow and down this line. So a half a gallon an hour, let's just say for easy numbers, that's you know 12 gallons a day per tank, maybe more. So you're very quickly getting up there, 100, 200, 300 gallons a day that can be running out this line, which is why I didn't want it just dumping out on the ground. That's why it's tied in with the gutter drain. It will drain to the pond, so all that water is captured. And I'm not worried about nutrient bloom because, again, it's very, very low uh, concentration as far as the actual um, nutrients that are in the water, especially once it runs out to the pond and it gets diluted in a half-acre pond. It's not going to be a problem. So there I got my little nerdy bit in, explaining to you guys a little bit. Um, there's certainly a lot more to talk about here on, on the whole system, uh, as, you know, as it goes. Um, but we still got a lot of work to do on it. I just finally wanted to show that off because I mentioned it in my in the video about welding the feet on the stand. As to and I showed you the tank while the lights were off, so they're not nearly as impressive with the lights off. But they are pretty cool. This one is darker because the driftwood that's in there is uh, leaching color, so that water's not dirty. The tank is clean. It's just leaching out. Um, same for that top one up there. It has kind of a yellowish hue to it. And this one's just darker because the plant density so much is blocking the light. Um, but yeah, like I said, just wanted to share that with you guys and show it to you. Not really my thing, but I tolerate it because she's darn good at it. If you like it, go to her channel, KDV9TB. Subscribe. Tell her you like it. Ask her for what she wants to see. Ask her you know, for, for more content, more stuff about her fish. If you have questions in detail, um, certainly I encourage the involvement. Uh, like I said... Let her know what you guys are after, and um, let's check out and see what she's got.